Hello friends. So today we'll study about introduction to sizes. So now let's see. So here we'll see different sizes. So one is big and one is small. So if you see the picture, this one is, the first one is a big flower and the second one is a small flower. So now see, I am a big flower. I am a small flower. So do you understand the difference between big and small? Now let's go ahead. Next is high and low. So here, if you see the picture under high, it's thermometer reading is very high. So when this boy, he got a fever. Oh, so, oh no, the boy has high fever. So when he used the thermometer, so the reading is showing very high. You can see the red line. And here, the picture under low, the temperature is normal. Thank God, fever is low. Now, the boy is okay. So do you understand what's high and what's low? Now, let's see tall and short. See the picture, this tree is tall. And the other picture, which is under short, this tree is short. So now we'll do some fun activity. So what we need to do here, can you help in finding which pot is bigger as both the pots are thinking that they are big? Hmm, okay. Now let's see the picture. So the first pot, what is seeing? Hey. Am I big from my friend? And the other one, the second picture, second pot is saying, no, I think I am bigger. Please tell me. So what do you think, friends? Who is bigger? Okay, now let's answer. Let's check. I got answer. The first one is saying, I am big and he is right. And the second one, what are you saying now? Let's see. Okay, I am small, but I am cute. I like it. So you got the answer? Okay. Now let's do one more activity here. Can you guess which mango is smaller? Okay, so the first one here, this mango is saying I am smaller. And the second picture is saying here, the mango is saying, no, I am smaller. So now can you give the answer? Which one is a smaller? Okay, let's check. Okay, you solved the problem. The first one, I got it, I am big. And the second one, yeah, I am small. That's cool. Okay, one more activity here. Can you guess which girl is taller? Okay, now see the first picture. This girl is saying, I am taller. Now see the second picture. This girl is saying, I am tall. Can you guys help her? Okay, now let's see. Oh, you did it. The first one, she got it. I am tall. And the second one, okay, I am short. Great job. Now it's the time for a fun story. So this story is about a special friendship. So now let's start reading the story. Once upon a time, there was a big dense forest. It was the habitat for lots of wild animals and birds. One day, a lion was sleeping under the shade near the bushes after having a long, tiring day of hunting. 
there was a small little mouse who lives in a hole behind those bushes. The mouse came out from his hole and was in very playful mood. He started singing and walking without realizing the nearby big sleeping lion. He started walking and jumping over the lion. The lion woke up because of this tickling. He got very angry and screamed, Who is this? The lion caught the mouse with his paw and screamed loudly, I will kill you. The little small mouse got scared and said politely to the lion, Hey, Mr. Lion, you are the king of the jungle. I am very sorry that I disturbed you. Please forgive me. I might be useful to you sometime. I will repay you. After listening to the mouse, the lion replied, I like you. You are a brave mouse. I will spare you. But how could you be helpful to me? You are such a small and little mouse. And the lion laughed and leave the mouse. The mouse said thanks to the lion and ran away. The time passed. After a few days, the lion went for hunting and suddenly he caught in the net, settled up by animal hunters. He rode and rode for help, but nobody came to help the poor lion. The little mouse heard the sad roar of big lion. He ran towards the roaring sound and reached there. He saw the sad lion. The mouse then with his sharp little tooth cut down all the net. The lion got free from the net. The lion said, My dear small mouse, you saved my life. I will be thankful to you. And from today, you will be my best friend. So friends, do you understand? So the moral of this story is, we should never judge anyone from its size. In the story here, even though the mouse was very small than lion, but finally he saved the lion's life. The end. Now, we'll have a small assignment for you guys. What you have to do is just find few objects and you have to compare them. Now you have to check whether they are big or small or tall or short. Okay, so I'll, I'll just give you a hint. What you have to do is look your surroundings and you can compare the size of uh, lamps, fan, kitchen containers, just take some spoons and, and there are lots of things that you can do. Okay, so you're going to have fun in doing that. So enjoy. And I hope you guys like this video and please subscribe it and share it. Thank you.